Hey guys, it's Andy, and you guys have been requesting me to make this video for a very long time, and I've been putting it off. It's finally here. What I eat in a day. So I'm here to show you guys what I'm going to eat for dinner, at least. So, yeah. I have a oh, dirty day vegan challenge, by the way. Okay, so we're just going to get started. I have me here some organic spinach. Uh, spinach is really high in iron and protein, so this is going to be my dinner. Oh, wrong hand. I think this is how you cut into food. I need a little salt with this. Don't be afraid to add sodium to your food, people. I think a little goes a long way. Mmm. Perfect. I'm kind of getting full, and I haven't even, like, gotten started on my side dish yet. So, I don't know how much my stomach can handle, because I'm really starting to get full. And so... Um, let's just move on to the side dish. Now, for my side dish, I don't want to have too much food, but this is just something that I'm going to have. Yeah, I think everyone is capable of finishing the side dishes because, you know, they're side dishes. Um, what do we have here? This is just a head of lettuce. But yeah, we have that. And then we have potato chippy fries. I stole this idea from Freely. Thank you very much for the tip, Freely, Banana Girl. I baked them, no oil, and they're, they're amazing. They're freaking awesome. Okay, so obviously this video is a joke. This is the main dish right here, okay? This is what I eat every single day. This is not like a special occasion celebration type thingy. I eat like this every day. So I have my pasta with the organic pasta basil sauce I have my organic yellow potato fries and I made potato chips mmm nice and crunchy the way I like it over here I have my jasmine rice with my oop, I think some rice fell but that's okay over here I have my organic jasmine rice with my black eyed peas black eyed peas is amazing they take 30 minutes to cook and they're just awesome Rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay, so I have broccoli here. Steamed broccoli with kale and um, I love garlic. A lot of people don't like garlic and I think it's because it's really potent. But when you steam it, like the potency level like dies down and you don't smell it in your breath. But then again, who can smell their own breath? What I like to do with this, with these lettuce boat canoe type thingies it looked like a canoe so what i like to do is fill it up with some rice okay so you add the rice in there the rice and black eyed peas you get an even spread okay all the way to the very end something like that okay rotate oh no no i don't have to rotate i'm good so now we're filling up the canoe this is my lettuce canoe you add some broccoli you add some wait i'm gonna have to do this with my hand hey it's my food i can touch it okay and yeah you add some kale some broccoli to the mix and we're gonna rotate 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 bitches rotate all right so then you add some pasta i love it oh shit that one fell on the floor this is so much easier when i'm not recording i promise you guys Okay, so this is called my Taco Lettuce Boat Canoe Greatness Goodness. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta hold it a certain way, too. Holy shit. What the fuck is life? Mm. 
What is life without great vegan food? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna finish this whole plate and then I'll come back to you when I'm finished. Okay? It's not making unhealthy because one, it's not. I'm watching that. vegan it games. Does that make this this right? shit is hilarious. You wouldn't know nothing about it because you don't have fat nor muscle. You know what I mean? You're like a twig. That's how it works. <laughs> My belly is all muscle. Scott Mendelssohn. <laughs> It sounds a lot like the story oh sumo God. wrestlers give about how the special type of yoga they do makes their muscles look soft and flabby like fat. It's okay to like food, Scott. Just own up to it. Alright, let's talk about salmon first. You, you, your data is, is corrupt. It's from polluted waters and outdated data. So, where are your claims coming from? Nowhere. So, in my last response to Scott Mendelson, I discussed how fish are not a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, as fish are high in heavy metals and environmental pollutants that have negative effects on human health, and I referenced studies that are less than 10 years old. So, what outdated data are you talking about? I also right. referenced research showing certain amino acids which are found in high concentrations in fish accelerate aging and promote cancer cell growth. And Scott's response to that is, I talk like a girl. Okay, Scott, maybe you aren't retarded. Here's another theory. You can't stand it when someone who is physically weaker than you is better than you at anything, which is why you were mad at all the girls in your class that got better grades than you, and this would also explain why you want another round of public embarrassment. Salmon has to happen to have really good source of omega-3s, vitamin A, B, and D, selenium, phosphorus, and many other things that help the body completely function in a way more optimal way. Nutrients in a particular food doesn't prove your point, just because fish has omega-3s and other nutrients doesn't doesn't make fish healthy, it just makes it food, and luckily for most of us, we have many food choices other than fish, and foods like nuts which contain omega-3s as well, along with other nutrients, happen to protect against chronic disease and extend life expectancy, whereas fish does not. Personally, I always suggest a farm, farm fresh raised salmon that's raised in optimal conditions, that's fed the best food and nutrients that you can get, that's going to give you the better piece of, of protein. Okay, Scott, maybe you are actually retarded. Let's take an objective look comparing wild salmon to farmed salmon, because I know you sure as hell didn't do that. First of all, farmed salmon contains higher levels of environmental pollutants compared to wild caught salmon, and no, this is not outdated data, these studies are just over 10 years old. Farmed salmon also have far more calories, far more total fat, far more saturated fat, and more cholesterol than wild caught salmon, so farmed salmon would promote weight gain and heart disease more than wild caught salmon, and I think we just discovered the mystery of your belly, Scott. Farmed salmon also have a lower ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fats compared to wild caught salmon, and thank you for making it so easy to point out that you have absolutely no fucking idea of what you're talking about. This study also found that neither farmed or wild caught salmon can be consumed at rates that provide one gram of EPA and DHA per day, while maintaining acceptable levels of carcinogenic risk, although farmed salmon had a cumulative cancer risk 24 times above the acceptable level, but wild caught salmon had only 8 times above the acceptable level. You're still not going to admit you're wrong, are you? Like, what's your response to this? Did I sound like a girl when I presented this information to you? You know, you might be able to bench more than me, Scott, but you're my intellectual inferior, and I can see my penis when I look straight down at the floor. So basically before, when we were talking about fruit being bad for you, what I was mainly referring to was the fruit juice that's bad for you. Perfect example is Steve Jobs, who was a vegan and drank a ton of fruit juice and died at the age of 56 of pancreatic cancer. You're completely full of shit. When you made that video claiming fruit is bad for you, you were referring to whole sources of fruits like mangoes. You're actually hurting yourself by eating fruit, okay? And I love fruit. There's nothing like a mango that's cut up and... I mean, oh my god, I love that. So now, after I proved you wrong, you're backpedaling on what you're saying. Fruit is healthy for you, Scott. Fuck you, just admit you were wrong, and using weak anecdotal claims doesn't help strengthen your argument. You brought up meat Some people don't want to admit that Let's they're wrong. Let's talk about the Atkins diet for a minute. 
This is a program that's been around since the 70s. It's a high protein, you can't be right about fat, everything. low carbohydrate diet. Wow, retard alert. Multiple studies have shown meat intake is highly correlated with weight gain, along with diabetes, and we see these correlations even when controlled for caloric intake, and this is likely due to meat being more calorie dense and higher in fat than fruits and vegetables. Just because you can lose weight eating plenty of meat doesn't mean meat is a suitable weight loss food, it just means you're eating little enough to lose weight. People can lose weight eating Big Macs every day. That doesn't mean Big Macs are a suitable weight loss food, it just means you're calorie restricting. These low carb, high fat, high meat diets have also been shown to increase risk of death from heart disease, cancer, and all causes. So I wouldn't consider this a viable weight loss strategy, as most people want to lose weight to be fitter and healthier and live longer. The only way for your body to gain fat is for your pancreas to produce insulin, which causes body fat storage. If you don't have that, you don't gain fat. And what does that cause from? Carbohydrates. Okay, uh. this is demonstrably scientifically false. Like whey protein are as insulinogenic as pure sugar. Insulin is also not required to store fat. Fat will be stored in your body as adipose tissue without the use of insulin, and fat is so efficiently stored into adipose tissue that performing an adipose tissue biopsy can accurately determine one's dietary fat sources. High fat diets can, however, induce hyperinsulinemia, a state in which your body produces continually high levels levels of insulin, and this is being directly linked to inducing obesity. And again, vegans have the lowest risk of type 2 diabetes, and even in populations that eat no processed foods, vegetarians still have a lower risk of type 2 diabetes than meat eaters. So what the fuck are you talking about? Fruits and vegetables are good for you, they don't cause diabetes, but meat does. Women are feminine and emotional, and vegan men are feminine and emotional. No need to go on any further. You're retarded after I've proven you wrong over and over again. Your best defense is veganism is girly. Well, I'd rather be feminine than be dumb, have a big belly, not be able to see my penis when I look down, and have a good bench press. So I'm right, you're stupid, fuck you. Right. this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it, or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way you dance to your play and how. Okay, we're getting down to the wire. Follow me into a dream. Like sleep, stay the part. Dark and quiet, covering glass. Dead of night, protection. Against disbelief. You better sing, Angie. Let us